Hi, this is Rochelle with Live in Vibrancy, and I, it's been a minute since I've made a video, so I just wanted to um, take an opportunity to talk a little bit about um, some of the finer points of man manifesting a specific person. So I'm going very off the cuff, where normally I might have some talking points, and so please, I apologize in advance if this gets a little out of control, but I'm going to try to keep it in and not like digress too, too much. Um, so before I forget, if you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe um, so that other people can find it. Uh, okay, so when we talk about manifesting a specific person, we're frequently, um, one of the primary things we talk about is your self-concept or your identity. And yes, this is absolutely the pinnacle because um, your identity is sort of, if you think of it as a dandelion, Right? A dandelion has a tap root. And so um, if you, and then it has leaves, and then it has a stalk, uh, like a stem, and then flowers. Now, if you uh, were to pick off all the leaves, so those are the beliefs, and let's say the emotions are the stem, and then the action is the flower. Now, I can pop off the action and get rid of it, and I still have the stem, and I still have the leaves. And I can pull those out too, but the tap root is still there. And so what's gonna happen is a new dandelion is gonna pop in place. So if I haven't addressed my identity, um, all that belief work that I've done, all those beliefs are just gonna pop back up. They're just gonna come up in different ways. So, um, and also the true root to belief is through the unconscious, which is the body. Um, you will know whether or not you believe something based on your emotions because you can tell yourself one thing and not actually truly believe it because your internal condition reflects something completely different. And so that is, uh, those are some of the key components. Um, and so the, the way you feel internally um, is the key to your identity or your self-concept. Um, because all neuroscience has confirmed or determined that uh, all thought springs from an emotion at some point. It all, um, so for example, maybe you're hungry, um, that's driven by um, a really subtle emotion, which then um, your cognitive thinking layers over top, uh, like it, your brain notices what's going on inside and then it layers some thoughts to match. Uh, so what, happens with your identity as you feel these negative things and then your brain gives those reasons and it pulls from its little Rolodex of um, your experiences in life. And so this is why the conscious mind is the limited mind and why also we can tell ourselves something without actually believing it. Um, because the conscious mind is the smallest aspect of you. Uh, you are so much more even than the unconscious mind there is an aspect of you that expands beyond your body. Um, but we're not going to get into that in this video. We're just really going to talk about kind of how, so at the level of the my self um, concept or my identity, I might feel a certain way about myself. I might know that I am amazing. I might know that I, what, what I deserve, what my value is, um, and what I will and will not accept. However, when you are manifesting a specific person, that is not enough. You must be able to see yourself in this valued way through your specific person's eyes. Because if you feel that you are amazing and they don't feel that you are amazing, if you feel they don't feel you're amazing, um, this is going to kind of shift you internally um, with regards to them. And this is why I always say it's a matter of managing the energy and the perception about a specific thing. I don't care how happy you are in every other part of your life. This is why when they say it's about your vibration, they are right, but that is a really high level explanation of what's going on. Um, because I can think that I'm super amazing, but if I also think that person doesn't like me, then I am essentially gonna have certain, feel a certain kind of way about that person as opposed to, and I'm going to show up in a way that demonstrates that, as opposed to if I know that I am amazing and 
I can see myself as amazing through that person's eyes, then I am gonna show up in a way that demonstrates that. And so this is why it's important not only to feel, to shift your identity at your own level, but to shift, be able to shift your perception, perceptive identity um, through people's eyes external to you. Um, and this is how, this is a really key part of manifesting. And what often happens is we feel really great about ourselves, but we are still looking at the external world to tell us what's possible and what to believe. And now belief is part of the conscious mind. So that is only can be built on what you have previously experienced or have learned out from the external world. And this is why you wanna begin to learn to cultivate faith. Faith isn't just a thing that happens to you. It's actually sort of a state and you can cultivate that. And so, you want to notice, am I determining what's possible for me and my beliefs, right, about myself based on what's external to me or am I determining my beliefs and am I practicing my own free will and ability to perceive myself in another way through someone else's eyes in order to create that reality because Again, we definitely, the unconscious mind will tell you what you believe and don't believe. And so it's a matter of working with that to begin to um, sort of shift and shift. And it you may do it in small increments. Some people do it in leaps. Um, but to notice yourself when you have slipped into this state of where essentially you are having the external world uh, affect your internal condition because we manifest from within. And so one of the key things you want to do is notice your perceptions. Notice how you not only perceive yourself, but how you perceive other people perceive you. Because that is where you're perceiving yourself through their eyes. And then work on those perceptions and that energy if your intention is to manifest something that requires, that is interactive with that person. Um, because otherwise, you can think that you are amazing, but if you are looking at your past experiences or what ex external circumstances are currently giving you, then that's just living in 3D reality. That's not manifesting. I'm really sorry. I say that with a lot of love and compassion because I'm right there with you. I do that too. But that's, um, you have to make a decision and then you have to align to that decision and just manage the energy when you step out of it. And, and, and this is where the most work is. Um, because essentially your reality is a projection of your past energy. And so if you're allowing your energy to be determined by reality, you're in a feedback loop of the past. So you have to project a new energy. You have to actively choose it while you still have old reality because this is a projection of past energy and then project that until this changes. This is what I'm talking about in videos previously when I say this is the only work to be able to shift in the moment, to be the master of your energy so that reality will reflect that. So hopefully this will help some of you, being that this is Valentine's week, really begin to understand um, maybe some of the areas where uh, you are, um, where your footing is maybe a, not a little shaky when it comes to manifesting what you want and why you're either getting hot and cold results or you're getting no results. Um, it's It really is very much about how are you not only perceiving yourself from your own perspective, but perceiving yourself through the perspective of others. And then are you able to hold your energy? You set your energy, not letting external circumstances set your energy. Okay. 
hopefully, like I said, this offered, um, this was helpful. And I hope that you are having a really amazing mid-February. And here, my <laughs> computer did not like this video because it has shut off. <laughs> so hopefully you like it better. Have a great night.